Hey there, Aaron. This is Zaukow playing Super Demo World, and I'm honestly pretty positively surprised by how excited a lot of people seem to be about the idea of playing through this game. So that's pretty rad. Last time I didn't try going up through this thing. That's not it! Okay, see I thought it'd just be returning in this pipe, but that's clearly not the case. I want to try something else too. Okay. There's a green pipe up there. There's a green pipe up there. Is there a place I can fly here? Yo, dude, okay. Um, hmm. Is this good enough to... Yeah, see, I don't know if that's gonna be good enough. What do you expect out of the player? Like there's ah uh, like there's no hmm. I, mean, I suppose it's not impossible that there might be like an invisible fine or something, but yeah, there we go. That's all you need to do. It's a weird like. Now I wonder if there's something on the other side though. Like maybe that's not where the actual prize is. Ah, but see. For you can use it to warp, but then you can't really level past the normal way first. If you, yeah, you can soft lock your, your way out of uh, paths in this game. So anyway, yeah, see, so you get this, so he goes through the cool Goomba block, so you can bob that and get yourself a thing, and there we go. That's how Star World is regarded by many as being a death trap. Anything isn't very hard, getting back out again can be a bit difficult. What's over here? And I think that just returns you probably in case you don't know that you need to bring a Goomba in your pocket watch adventure hole. Then you're on a roof and then you're on correlation. Then you go through the darkness because it's night time in the sky. But now the sky is blue again. Misty Star Road is where we go. It's the Star World. So you're just stuck here. It's just a path. You don't get to move anywhere. It's a level in on in itself. So you gotta do normal first. And then zucchini. Got it. It's an auto scroll with background from Mario RPG. Oh, it's one of these, huh? Okay, but these you can just pick and chuck. It's fine. I wouldn't be surprised yet. And also, you got that kind of wall. It's just all the masonry in the world you can imagine. You can find here at a low, low cost of $3.99. Here's a Rex. It, oh, was I supposed to fly? Not necessarily. Was I supposed to die? <laughs> Can't even get up there, it looks like. That's rude. And then you would just bop, bop a slop. Here we go. Did it. I'm up here on this mound. Ter oh, so there's a lower passage too. But I'm taking the passage up here where, you know, you take the very hard approach of running up a wall using a triangular. The most favorite type of robot brand the world has- Oh, sometimes there's a roof. Over your head, you don't know. You don't know these things. Oh, look at that shell. That's right. I could have gone one up, maybe. Maybe. And here I am in the frosted fields of Africa. Advancing forward, throwing a fireball every day. I think it's best to put on my best cape while I fall. Because I don't know what's going to happen today. Like, I think I took a wrong decision somewhere that I didn't know was going to be wrong. And I paid the price. I did it. Alright, let's check out the low path this time for fun. Since I feel like I didn't really gain anything from taking the high pathway. 
Like, we got some pretty sweet slowdown. Like, that's pretty cool. Like, I feel like I want to see below here, like, if there's anything interesting. This is not very interesting. <laughs> it was a real wall of ice. Oh, sweet. So, okay. So, you gotta take this path only if you have a feather. And then there's just nothing. Why would you ever take this path? I don't know. Yeah, now underneath there's just like an ocean of munchers. And then at some point, things meet up again. So, okay, so there's something you want in there. But here's a P-switch you want here, possibly. Maybe I pressed it too early? Like, I don't know how this is set up at this point. But I can burn the ice. That's what I want. Now we got these here. What is happening with the level? Wow, okay, like that's not nothing. God damn it. God damn it. Ah, I messed it up. You do, you didn't jump. supposed to use the blue blocks, but hey, that's not gonna happen, but like the fact that it alternates to me says that no. There is a certain idea of, of that's just rude. Dude. Okay, just, I did it somehow. It almost didn't do. Uh, I feel like you want me to have a little bit of everything. But I don't know for sure. There's Charlie with the wall being destroyed. Alright, here's a very aggressively placed Bonsai Bill. Now we're just kind of carving through the ice here. Hope you don't get hurt because you're just gonna get buried. Alright. Yeah, so minimal amount of movement. I think the game wants me to start to get higher up, but I mean, I don't know. Uh, please there be land somewhere? There is be land somewhere. I guess I'm going here through this passage. Oh, dude. Please destroy blocks better. Please destroy blocks better. And I'm dead. I put the wrong path, I guess, because there's no way I can get that in time. So that's cool, I guess. It's really not. I don't know if I should be getting more down now. I forgot how this is made. Uh, so I wanna be... Dude. Like, is that supposed to be useful in some, like, evil way? Because it's really not. Alright, I'm going somewhere now. I mean, at least I'm going beyond these. I can, like, if I, yeah, if I spin jump, I don't destroy into that. So, here we go, cube lord zone. Here you get a star. I feel like I want to wait a little bit, maybe? Alright, well, we got the star. Ah, oh, dude, dude! Like, what is this? Other than terrible. Okay, if you run up, you do not hit a block. So, let's see what going on the all of the universe here lets us do. This is just so, so unpleasant a level. It's kind of fascinating. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with that. That's a fun word to belt out. 
checking out. I'm chalking my way forward on my hill of blocks. Just kind of chomping forward. I don't know if I'm going where I wanna. I really don't. I don't know what to expect. Maybe the year is just going to lead to death. It's very possible. It's very hard to predict what is going to go. But now I'm down here with no place to go. Oh, there's a springboard. That's exciting. Whoosh, coin prize. Yoshi, do I want you? Yeah, I can still just go over the world. Did I want to? What is going on with this... with this place? There's a dragon coin here. And you can arrange to bounce on this guy. But this is the secret exit! I don't want the secret exit! I need to find the normal exit first! Maybe it's just beyond? I don't know. I'm on this pyramid that I found. Maybe the lock is buried in there. Or there's a P-switch to find somewhere. Really? Okay, well I mean I'm glad I found a normal exit. Cause I need to find that first. I get to replay the whole level, so that's cool. That's what we call an opportunity. Cause see, you gotta beat you gotta beat a normal exit to make those paths. Now I need to find a secret exit. To find a secret exit. Well, at least I can start select. But yeah, like I can't even really keep the Yoshi. And I can just fly, maybe. I mean, there is that block surrounded by ice blocks in the first half if you go through the lower path, so... Everything is here with a purpose, circa 2001. <laughs> Kinda neat how you're backing up in the winning animation there because of the Oda scroll. Not too sure what to expect here. Like I've tried this once and then stop. Oh yeah, because of all the turtles upstairs. There's an infinite amount of like just sprite filling up the everything. Always a good time. Tim Martin. Oh yeah, there's a star right there. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. And here lies another star. Oh, okay, no, yeah, that does make sense. So then here you can grab this and you just go on top. This is gonna be another star, yeah. Yeah, 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 it was just a coin, that's because it was a star thing. And we can chunk in here and hopefully we don't die. Hopefully there's another star. Hopefully there is. I didn't. Okay, there we go. I wasn't quite sure if I hit it too early or what. I might still have hit it too early or what. There's another one here though. Okay. As a bonus, you're playing a much more fun version of the level. I mean, you don't really do anything though. I got to enjoy the thoughts of an afternoon basket drive. So maybe you are always supposed to take the bad way down there, and me running up this wall is considered a cheat? I don't know. I don't know nothing. 
All I know is I'm here in the middle of the night Throwing fireball everywhere that I believe is right Who's Andy? <laughs> Why did you materialize in my consciousness? Who are you? I don't want to do any mistakes There. And over here, that's fine. Papo. They call me Papo. I don't know why it's not even that great of a name. So. Does it expect you to double grab or. Because I can, I'll do it. But yeah, I hadn't thought of that, that I think they expect you to juggle key and P switch. Luckily, I'm well familiar with a cheat of some kind. Uh, but things could have gone a lot more gone. That wasn't a real sentence. Okay. I didn't expect everything to coin up there, but they were still solid. It's just the idea, the concept of a coin. This level was really unpleasant! Wow! Let's wash the stink off with uh, Salty Island here, just real quick. I like, just go through the Salty Isle waters, warm these parts, but I wouldn't taste if I were you. Yeah, don't drink salt water. Kids, here's a useful hint that you can apply to your everyday life uh, if you suddenly live by salt water suddenly, because boy howdy, if you've been raised next to salt water, that's a lesson you just kind of learn on your own real quick, and if you don't, man, adults in the area will make sure you learn that lesson. It's kind of neat, it's kind of a bit repetitive, but you know, patterns are kind of neat. Our brains are made to find patterns kind of neat. Look at the absolute disgusting difference of an experience. What I've played all day, and this here I'm experiencing right now. Wow, that was so weird. My object materialized so close to the ground in a way that was very unnatural. Oh boy, we're in 2001. Coin bridges are rad and cool. Rad cool slide to get some money. Fish in the water! I'm gonna get the trophy! It's just a big old bar that doesn't fit in any door I own. Yeah! Like, isn't the difficulty difference wild? Like, did we have a preview of what the future's gonna look like? I don't know, man. I really don't know.